What y'all doing out there in TV land, man? If you ain't tuned in to Kofi's universe, you slipping. That's why I go get all my info for Black Culture. He do the best album reviews I seen. You know what I'm saying? Dope rap reaction videos. He do it all. You heard me? Go to Kofi's universe right now. Subscribe to his YouTube channel. Man, stay in tune, loved one. That's how it's happening. Me. <laughs> YouTube salute. So Kendrick makes history with the Big Steppers tour. If you're new to my channel, thumbs up the video. Hit that sub button, click that bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. So Kendrick Lamar now becomes the rapper with the highest grossing tour in hip hop history, according to the touring data. The former TDE rapper's recent tour, the Big Steppers, has made around. 110.9 million dollars from 929,000 sold in 73 shows. Damn. K Dot now surpassed previous highest grossing tours by rappers, which includes Drake's RB and the Three Amigos, Drake and Future's Summer 16, Kanye West and Jay Z's Watch the Throne, Travis Scott's Astro World, and his own damn tour. Damn, that's very impressive. So, Damn, man. I know Drake is in, he has two and three on lock. Kanye West and Jay-Z, Watch the Throne was number four. And that was, what, around 2011-12? Kendrick Lamar damn tour went down in 2017, because that's when damn came out. Um, That's very impressive. That's very impressive. I mean, think about the tour started off in Oklahoma City. And went through markets like Miami, Atlanta, Brooklyn, LA, Chicago, Detroit, um, San Diego, Vegas, Arizona, I believe, Phoenix, and went to the UK, went to Australia, Zealand. He did his thing. I'm, I'm actually shocked because I, I, I didn't think he was going to break, break, um, Drake's record. And that's not like doubting Kendrick. It's just more like Drake has a big machine behind him as far as like mainstream. Kendrick, don't get me wrong, he's he's big. He's real big. I mean, I ain't doubting that. But you know, Drake has been holding down number one, number two for a minute as far as those slots when it comes to touring. Even when it comes to even selling records, you know, overall or just the streaming, you know. People streaming his music on Spotify, all uh, streaming platforms. I didn't. I would not. I couldn't. I'm, I'm just shocked. I'm just shocked, and I didn't see that coming. Because Kendrick, his album, his latest album, it's only what platinum. It's not even double platinum. I don't believe it's double platinum. If it's double platinum. Please correct me in the comment section. But Drake, like all his damn singles from his latest album, are platinum. Air Platinum. And his album before, that shit is like platinum. All his singles are triple platinum. So, you know, women going gonna, gonna to tune into some Drake. I mean, I ain't, I ain't knocking it. You know, they're going to play it in clubs. They're going to play them, his music in bars. Kendrick, his music, don't get me wrong, I love it, but it's not like something more like, I'm going to pick Kendrick over Drake because of just you know, metaphors, storytelling. The um, the versatility, you know, mess that she has in his rhymes. It's it's like it's like a movie, a soundtrack. Every album he comes out with. Think about Mr. Brown, the Big Steppers. That was more like healing. He was talking to like a therapist and opening up about a lot of issues, infidelity, issues with his father. You know, talking about his auntie. Talking about like how, how his children would feel and um going through therapy, having writer's block, and looking at certain people in the industry a certain way, people trying to consider him to be a savior. Like people know you need to learn how to save yourself. So you know, I've always respected about Ken. Actually proud of him that he didn't have to actually sell out, do something beyond what people wanted him to do, just to be where he's at right now in this world. Stayed down the entire time. Just kept. He kept elevating. He kept growing, you know, until his um, his art. You know, he's an artist. Like I mean, he's a he's a MC. 
the rapper, he's an artist as far as like how he can actually talk about, oh, so I'm in Compton at one point. Damn, now I'm over here talking about something conscious, revolutionary. And I go from there and then I'll actually be flashback about what was going on in my life or I was born, how my dad and top dog met each other. Now, this is where I'm at and this is like the the last chapter of the company I started with and I got more to talk about like I said, shout out to Kendrick. Post your comments below. Poke smash, Black Panther, the like button, subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. If you want to support and donate to the channel, I have Patreon, patreon.com slash universe. Venmo, Cash App, PayPal, Streamlabs, everything's in the description. Until next time, salute.